So unfortunately, Tom Cruise was not the real last samurai. I know this may be a shock to everyone in the world, but there are several other people who could potentially make that claim. But it is true to say that the 19th century saw some of the most radical changes in the history of Japan. So if you want a more accurate story of The Last Samurai, then I recommend the film The Past Last Days of the Samurai. It's a film that released in 2020 and it was directed and written by Takashi Koizumi. And Takashi Koizumi also worked as an assistant director on numerous Akira Kurosawa films. So he's definitely got talent. And the film stars Koji Yakusho, who's become one of Japan's biggest actors in recent years. And I especially just love his acting in Kiyoshi Kurosawa films. I think he's always excellent. He was also really good in 13 Assassins. But in addition to Yakusho, this film also has Tatsuya Nakadai. Though it is a small part, but still it's always an honor. I think he's just one of the greatest actors who's ever lived. And before I get into it, this movie was given to me by SamuraiDVD.com for purpose of review. And SamuraiDVD.com is, in my opinion, the best place to buy samurai movies. And it's because it just has the biggest selection of them. And many of these films you really won't find anywhere else. So if you're ever looking for a samurai film, always check here first. And as an added bonus, you can get a discount by using the code BUSHIDOBLUES at checkout. So definitely check this site out. So what did it mean to be a samurai. And just this image of a strict Bushido code has just been long popular in the West. But the code itself has changed quite a lot over the centuries. And by the beginning of the Meiji era in 1968, all of Japan's traditions were facing a crisis. And this was due to the influence of new beliefs spreading from the West. And the country just began to tear itself apart. And this was during the Boshin War. And it was at the same time that they were caught in a conflict over whether or not to modernize or once again get rid of foreign influence. And to just defend the beliefs of the past. And the country just divided itself into Eastern and Western armies. The Tokugawa Shogunate and the restored Imperial forces. But there was a region that was caught in the middle of this. And its people were either doomed or the last hope for a peaceful national reunification. And most notably amongst them was the famous Lord Suginosuke Kawai. And he had his own beliefs about his duties as a samurai. And it's really his story that this film sets out to tell. <laughs> And for those of you who are just looking for a film that has great battle scenes, you will not be disappointed with this. In fact, the second half of the film is just filled with them. Though I will say the first half is a little slow, there's not too much action or fighting. But overall, this is a film that's really about the importance of peace. And it's also about service. And not just service to a daimyo, but to all of one's people. And just for a film that refers to the Battle of Anoki Pass in the title, I'll say director Koizumi definitely takes a measured approach getting there. And like I said, the first act of the film is a little slow, but it's really here that we witness the character of Sugune Suke in a life of semi-peace. And after all, the Tokugawa Shogunate saw the longest period of peace and stability in Japan's history. Besides, of course, the Civil War that ended it. And what I like about this film is it really has a good sense of time and place. And just a lot of work went into adding historical and time period details. And it's just pretty incredible how they were able to just blend Japanese and just the increasingly Western influences at the time period. And there's just stuff like every time when someone speaks, they do so with the weight of knowing exactly what this moment means in Japan. 
And by that, it's almost as if all the actors in the film are just aware of their ultimate place in history. And just which side they're going to be judged from. And I always believed that this was just a fascinating time period in Japan. And I always just appreciate films and games that cover it. And the main event of this film is definitely the battle at the Anoki Pass. And it's just really impressive how they stage it. There's explosions, gallon guns, swords. It's fast lived though, as if to just signify that this violence was a brief and bloody end to an otherwise peaceful era. And the film's narrative has a melodramatic feel to it. And the music really just adds to the drama. But what really brings it out too is just the great performances. And like always, Koji Yakusho is just excellently cast in this film. And he really just adds to the character and makes him more likable. And he really just steals every scene he's in. And also Takako Matsu as his wife is also great. And they just make for a really powerful on-screen couple. And I just love movies like this that just feel big and epic. Not all samurai movies have this kind of budget. And it's always nice and stands out whenever they do. I remember the last film that was big in scale like this was Baragaki. I really enjoyed that film. And I believe that was the same time period too. So overall, The Last Days of the Samurai is a film that's slow at times. Don't go in this expecting it to be all fight scenes, at least in the first half. But the second half showcases some pretty impressive battle scenes. But even with it being slow at times, it was still a very engaging narrative. And it not only just offers an interesting look at one of the most important time periods in Japanese history, but it's also just a dramatic showing of one man's function in it. And some people may not appreciate that this film has sort of a glorification of the samurai code, but it also just plays a role in making the finale as emotionally effective as possible. Anyway, if you want this film, you can get it on SamuraiDVD.com. Don't forget to use the discount code BUSHIDOBLUES at checkout. And like always, thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.